Let's do this. We're going to hit the pause button. You will not miss any of the closing arguments, but I want to bring in our guest legal analyst for this hour, celebrity civil litigator John Phillips, because I know that you're active on Twitter. I'm active on Twitter. I want you to share with our viewers, please, your assessment of the closing arguments so far in this celebrity civil trial. Uh, disappointing. I think that's the word of the word of the hour. You know, the the plaintiffs started real slow. It really didn't have a theme. The defense has a theme. You've you've said it, but they're not really getting into the evidence. They're just kind of just batting stuff around. It's 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 a little disappointing. Batting stuff around, I love that description, John, because that is kind of what it feels like as they're kind of going through things. And, you know, all of us have our stuff, good and bad. But the reality is, if you are going to do a closing argument in a trial, one of the viewers wanted to know this, and I'll ask you this question. Would you practice before you go in in front of the jury to make your argument? I practice when nobody's there. I practice more when six people are going to be there. When you know the court TV audience is watching, a worldwide audience, you, you have this stuff down. They spent the money on animation, but it's just so awkward. And again, like we talked about yesterday, so many of the statements of, of them expressing their own personal opinions like I, I fell out of my chair when the plaintiff's lawyer te directly testified that he's known the plaintiff for six years, and of course he's telling the truth. It, it, it's it's surprising, um, but you know I'm kind of used to, I guess Florida and New York standards of litigation. Maybe not so much you know, Utah. And that's a really good point. Every court's a little bit different. Every state's a little bit different. So it does depend on the court. But I would agree with you. It's a, a little loosey-goosey, so to speak, a really great legal term there. But in terms of some of the rules and what's being followed in this case. All right, John M. Phillips, thank you so much. We do need to squeeze in a break.